Alright, what is up, people? Civil Liberty, Civil Rights, Unit 5, Video 12. Talking about civil rights now. Alright, so, civil rights can be defined as the constitutional protections from discrimination against groups of people. So remember, civil liberties, we're talking about the rights of an individual person. Um, civil rights, however, groups, so minorities as a whole, women, Hispanic, African American, uh, gay, straight, whatever, groups is what we're talking about for civil rights. Um, going to kind of blast through these. We've done these, most of all of these earlier in the year. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery. 14th Amendment, two clauses that we care about for this section, granted citizenship to African Americans, and it also said that everybody must be protected equally by the law. 15th Amendment, black men gained the right to, the, to vote. The 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. The 24th Amendment banned the poll tax, which had previously been used to uh, stop African Americans, minorities from voting. All right, the key thing that's new here um, in this unit is the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which banned discrimination based on race, color, gender, religion, or national origin in public accommodations and employment. In other words, movie theaters, uh, restaurants, public places, parks, those are public accommodations. Buses, trains, planes, stuff like that. And for employment also, you couldn't refuse to hire somebody because they're minority or any of those different groups. And you can't fire them either. So Civil Rights Act, tremendously important in real life and on the test. The very next year, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 gets passed and this banned literacy tests plus other obstacles to vote. And if you pair the Voting Rights Act with the 24th Amendment, which banned the poll tax, these two things together greatly increase minority voter turnout. So again, you definitely absolutely want to know Voting Rights Act as well. Equal Pay Act, this was for women. It guaranteed equal pay based on gender. Um, so that was passed by JFK back in 63, Equal Pay Act, gender. You have Title IX, um, which also um, was for gender rights. It basically said that if a school receives public funds, that they can't discriminate against girls. So this is used for sports mostly. So if there is a boys football team, then girls have a right to make their football team or basketball team or soccer or whatever other sports. So if you're a girl playing sports, you have Title IX to thank for that. Um, another civil rights thing was the Americans with Disabilities Act. Again, you should be noticing the trend. All of these are talking about protecting the rights of groups of people. And this extended the Civil Rights Act to now include disabled persons as well. And it guaranteed that they would have access to public facilities. Um, you want to highlight affirmative action as well. Um, affirmative action is preferential hiring and admissions policies specifically for minorities. Um, the idea is obviously to increase college education access for minorities as well as at a time when people wouldn't hire someone because they're minority, so it made it illegal to do that. So in fact, schools and workplaces were supposed to give preference to minorities. Um, we'll focus more on this in a future video. Um, I believe it's the last video that's going to be talking about the Supreme Court cases. So that's what affirmative action is. For more details, listen to the uh, Supreme Court cases, Regents versus California, and the Michigan cases. We also had something called Jim Crow laws. Those are just a bunch of laws that were allowing the South to be racist and segregationist, um, including something like a poll tax, so you had to pay to vote, or pass a literacy test, so these were used to stop uh, minorities from voting. They also used the white primary. Again, all of this stuff is back from Unit 2, which is why I'm glazing over it so quickly. Um, white primary is where they let only white people vote in the Democratic Party primary because South was all Democrat at that time in the 1800s, um, so they didn't let black people vote in the primary election. They also had the grandfather clause that says if your grandfather could vote in 1867, you could vote even if you couldn't pass the literacy test or pay the poll tax. Obviously intended to help poor white people from voting or to keep them voting, but not allow poor black people to vote. And this has been a Lamani production.